Spain will recognize the State of Palestine next Tuesday, May 28th, following the Executive Council meeting that day. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Pedro Sánchez announced in Congress today that along with Ireland and Norway, Spain are set to recognize the state of Palestine and send a message of hope to those in Gaza. Sánchez also rejected Israel's bombing of hospitals and schools. In response, Israel has called its ambassador to Spain for consultations and summoned the Spanish ambassador to Tel Aviv for a meeting. El próximo martes, 28 de mayo, España aprobará en su Consejo de Ministros el reconocimiento al Estado de Palestina. Marta Molina, the secretary of pro-independence party Esquerra, was the only one to testify before the judge today in a hearing over the tsunami democratic terrorism case. She defended the peaceful nature of the protests against the sentencing of independence leaders in 2019. In the morning, Amnesty International published a statement rejecting the terrorism charges. Que havien estat crides a, a la no violència i la desobediència civil i a la mobilització pacífica de la ciutadania i per tant ha defensat que no va ser un moviment violent i molt menys terrorista. All Spanish citizens affected by last Friday's terrorist attack in Afghanistan, in which three Catalans were killed, have left the country. The bodies of the three fatal victims will also be repatriated today. Drought has affected over 66,000 hectares of forest in Catalonia over the past year, a number that has doubled over the past two years. The Climate Action Department has approved a 5 million euro aid package to help private forest owners remove dead trees. Barça Femení take on Lyon in the Champions League final on Saturday, and the city will celebrate with a giant screen in Plaza Catalunya. The council wants to repeat what they did two years ago, all the while promoting women's sport and building an atmosphere for the final, and they hope to celebrate. <laughs>